Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Lawrence Procrastinates Getting That Iron uh, Refining Setup like he said he was going to do about four episodes ago. So after I left you in the last episode I uh, tidied up a few things as I said I was going to do. One of those was I slightly expanded the depot down here so there's room for a few more trains and I also finished off this, this um, sort of loading station up here. So I'm only currently only using, actually I'm using two of them, this one should be called wood, let's uh, rename that. How do I make a wood and brown colour of that update? Okay, so uh, from here we've got the limestone coming up from this um, washing plant here and going into the into the station, which is getting gradually loaded up. It's got, um, so far, about 2,000, which is a bit slow, but I don't know how fast I'm going to get through it. I might need to come up here later and put in another bank of washing plants and another mud pump here and so on, just to get this, get this all running a bit quicker. I also notice I've run out of mud down here as well so it definitely looks like I'm going to need to come and do some boosting over here and some general increases of production because this is not running fast enough at the moment so but anyway I, so I set this up oh this is why I'm short of mud because I'm um, I'm pulling wood out much much faster now because I'm loading up this station which has now got to 13,000 wood so that one's ready for a train to come in and pick up the wood but to be honest at this point I don't have anywhere that's asking for it so it's just going to be building up here until these all fill up but that's fine it's, it means I've got a supply that I can call on later if and when I need it the limestone as I say is a little bit slow but over time that'll by the time I actually need some there'll probably be enough in there down here we've got um, I've also built it built this sort of <laughs> this this ridiculous coal belt snaking back and forth here to to fuel all the trains up. It basically because it um, occurred to me there was no there wasn't enough um, there wasn't enough space between the lines to do anything a bit uh, tidier. So I, I I put this together and it, it works. So you know it's uh, <laughs> if it's a daft idea but it works. It's uh, yeah it doesn't really matter. Over here we've got the um, two unloading points for the Juvalite and the Sapphirite and I put these um, warehouses in for that which might be a little bit overkill to be honest but I thought I'd put them in anyway and down down here I've got just the normal um, set of set of boxes to unload the limestone into if that when that whenever that's finally ready and uh, and, there's a, and a train can be dispatched to go and pick it up so that's about as far as I've got uh, as you've noticed from the last episode or so this sulfur is not being produced very quickly I've got how much have I got 1.8 thousand there and that's been running for ages and I think the reason it's so low is because I don't have enough oil, be uh, sorry, enough gas being brought in here, so these are always empty. None of this is ever running flat out, so it's just keeping the whole plastic and sulphur production system rather under underpowered. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up a gas mine here and here, and then run them in up here into this gas drop-off point as well to speed things up a bit. So let's get started on that. I'm going to need a lot of pump jacks for that. That's probably not going to be enough. As usual, I'm out of circuit boards. Okay. I don't have any of the good ones in here. I'll have to stop off and pick up some on the way past. At some point, something I should do is set up systems on the uh, on the bus to manufacture all of this, all of the the buildings like the uh, the pump jacks and the and the well not assembly machines. I am actually making those, but all the various different resource managing, refining, crushing. No, I've got crushers, but there's a lot of different machines that I don't have being built automatically at the moment, and that that I think I should should try and get set up and, and working. I'm picking up the wrong ones here. Oh. <laughs> it's those ones that I want. I should probably go and do something with all of these circuit boards I picked up by mistake. Like turn them into get them turned into electronics boards. That happens miles away though, so I'm going to drive up there. I've had enough of trying to drive around that every time I go up and down here. <laughs> That'll have to do for now. I'm surprised that machine's keeping up actually. I, um, I guess I'm not using all that many of the, uh, the yellow circuit boards, uh, electronics boards. Oh good, I've got some fluid wagons. I was worrying, worried I wasn't going to have enough of those. I'm not sure I'm going to have enough uh, pipes. I guess we'll find out. I've got quite a lot of iron so I can always make some if I need to. Right, I shall run this line all the way across here and I'll use um, landfill to put a bridge across this water. And then I can branch off it to come down, probably down here. And that's close. Cause that's close to this natural gas. It's close to this natural gas. And also these uh, these ore patches as well are quite going to be quite easy to link into it. And I can carry on downwards later once I start getting through those alien areas. Uh, there. Okay. While that's deploying all of this railway line, I'm going to put some of the landfill down over here. Let's be yet that wide. This is going to get through my landfill very, very quickly. I don't know if I'm going to have enough. Whew, made it. Excellent. Although I'm going to need to have a 
much bigger area of landfill because I'm going to oh dear because I'm going to want to run my railway down here mm. and I'm going to stick with my new plan of making my railways all this sort of width because then there's a bit more space in between them for whatever there we go but that is going to make it slightly harder to join this on up here yep that looks good up nicely <clears throat> The basic rule with these junctions is make sure trains can't go, won't go in if they can't come out. Don't actually need that to any roundy bit of line there. Okay, pump jack time. Did I bring any tank, gas tanks? Well, liquid tank, fluid tank. No, I did. I am building though. Oh, so I did. There are some storage tanks. Extra. Just not put that down yet. So I have a pipe backbone about <laughs> somewhere around here where it'll. No, not that. Okay, I think they're all linked up now. Um, let's make a few of these a little more efficient. I think it's probably okay to have quite a few of my um, pump jacks going down the same pipes. Then we have station. And I'm not going to use LTN here, at least at the moment. Uh, let's see if this isn't up. Okay, I do want to turn you around a bit there. I want to have somewhere for the train to squeeze through here and then get back on the main line there. I'm going to stick with the two and two. So let's put the station there. Then we're going to need some pumps and those need m engines. I don't think I have any of those. Oh, I've got one. One pump. Great. <clears throat> I'm going to need to go and get some more bits of that. Uh, but let's use that to, to mark out the positions anyway. So that'll probably go there. So I'll get my tanks like this. That's more than enough for a single train. There. Where do I have power around here? I, oh, just up north. Okay, that's not too bad. There. Just like that. Everything except that final pump I needed. Let's go and get some more pumps. In fact, let's also think about pump jacks. I've got... How many have I got left? I've got ten left. And for this patch, I'm going to need one, two, three, ten. Oh, that's convenient. <clears throat> All right, let's go and get those engines for some more pumps. I'm also going to need to build a way in from the other direction for this station. That's something I'd not considered. That, and then a way out like that. And of course, appropriate signals. So that there will be okay. But I'm going to need to scatter a lot more chain signals throughout here. <clears throat> but of course I've run out, and I've run out of iron plates. Okay, iron I do have. I seem to get through a lot of chain signals setting up my uh, railway, railway lines. Um, I guess that's to be expected, really. I, I don't know. This is the way out. Let's put a chain signal there. You know, I've done it again. I'm doing. I'm taking the slow vehicle when I just want to cross a long distance and pick up something relatively small. So let's do this. It may not make much of a difference to you guys because I'll speed things up to go at a sensible speed no matter what. But it makes it a bit a bit nicer for me, a bit quicker. Oh, I've just remembered something else I I uh, did at the end of, after the last episode and it turned out rather horribly, but I couldn't do a great deal about it. Let me show you this. So down here we've got these this drop-off station system for the um for the resources I wanted to put onto the bus that were coming from somewhere else. That's fine, you might say. Um and yeah, it's the basic idea was okay. And I thought, from here, I've got these lines, why not extend them up so I've got now got this nice big loop of train going all the way around the base so that things can take whatever the most sensible route is. Unfortunately, when I designed this, I wasn't really planning for it to be an inter integral part of the uh, train network. So I've got driving on the left here, whereas I've got driving on the right everywhere else. And that meant, and I didn't realise this while I built, built up this, but I thought I'll, I'll keep this this wide because that way if I need to put any more of these stations in, I can fill in this area with landfill and keep and just keep basically copying and pasting these upwards. Great. And there's loads of room for that. But then that means up here I've got this horrible crossover point that not only is it hideous and ugly and down to extremely bad planning and I should have done it all differently, it also looks a bit like a swastika. So, um, yeah. Yeah. That was not part of the plan, but it seems to have happened anyway. I promise it wasn't meant to be a swastika. But this part down here, I mean, is basically okay. It's just because I tried to build off that into something else. It's the usual spaghetti thing, really, where you have something that works quite nicely, and then you go in and cobble together a bit more onto it, and then a bit more, and then you think, oh, actually, if I'd done it slightly differently, oh, but it's too late now, I'm not pulling all of that apart and unpicking it, and, and oh dear, everything's now a huge tangled mess of spaghetti. I guess in the long run, it'll probably eventually get sorted out, because I'll start doing things like um, pulling up big chunks of base and putting them somewhere else, and just linking them in by rail. So a lot of the stuff that's on the bus at the moment may end up being taken off and done somewhere else. Like building the circuits, for example, I'll probably, in the not too distant future, have all of that done in off-site somewhere in an attempt to just generally keep things tidy and organised and then I'll have another off-site factory that'll make the red circuits and so on and they'll all feed each other and that'll all work quite nicely I imagine, I hope. 
but for now it's all built on the bus and it's the sort of thing you notice with me when I um, came when I came down to start doing these bits I thought okay I'll throw away everything I've done so far for building building belts and I'll just rebuild it all down here because it's much easier to have it somewhere where there's bronze where there's a bit more space where I can plan it slightly more carefully where I'm not even trying to keep any of the grey circuits just make things a bit easier <clears throat> some coal in these trains am I refueling my trains at the iron at the yes I am at the gas drop off good so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, first I'm going to start off just by telling this to go to apparently Chris Fisher I'll change that in a minute until full and then to gas drop until empty and I'll make it green I suppose the other thing I need to do with this because there is I haven't built a stacker for that station and there isn't room to because I didn't plan things very well <clears throat> um, <laughs> or rather I didn't plan ahead enough to think about what would happen when I needed to expand the gas input so there's no way, no way for me to build a train stacker on that one what I'm going to do instead is have the station shut down when it gets to more than a certain proportion full. So if I run this along here, like that, current gas level is 33,000. That's not bad. These are 25 each, aren't they? Yes. So the total capacity of this station is 200,000. Total capacity of one of these trains, I'm not sure, uh, because it shot off, it emptied too quickly. I have a feeling it's 50, because I think they're equivalent to one tank each. Uh, one Each one of these is equivalent to one tank. Yes, that's... They're 25 each. Okay, so this is 200. So if, if, if I say turn the station off when raw gas... Natural, is it natural gas liquids? I think it is. No, it's natural gas. Natural gas, that one. When that's greater than 100,000. That's 10,000. Yes, that's 100,000. There we go. So now, because we've got... What, have I got this right? Why is it flashing? Why is it disabled now? Gas is greater than 100,000. Oh, be enabled. Yeah, if gas is less than 100,000. Be enabled. Right, let's get that correct. <laughs> um, so at the moment we've got 63,000 in there, and now I should find that everything is running full tilt. Those those aren't yet. Maybe it hasn't filtered across yet because it is coming in much more quickly now. But the idea of this is the station will deactivate if, when there's more than 100,000 gas in there, which is still plenty of still more than a train's worth. So any train that comes here or is already here at that point will be able to, jeez, look how quickly that's going down, um, we'll still be able to unload and then we'll be able to leave, but it won't gum up, hopefully. Why are there so many cars up here? And here comes the other one. There is still a risk of having a second train stopped in here, but these unload so quickly that I think it's probably not going to matter. You can tell by my tone of voice that I'm slightly sceptical of that. I mean, we'll see any moment now. Oh, right. Okay, no, it's, it's worked. This one's tri tripped now. So this, this station is closed, and it won't reopen until this drops below below 100,000. The only slight downside of this is this train might spend a lot of time making its way up and down the map, even though there's nothing there for it to... Even though, by the t and then by the time it gets here, the station will close. But, eh, Celebi. Not the end of the world. <clears throat> so that should have kicked this whole system into gear. I don't know why this isn't running flat out, but these all are, so maybe I just overspecced this column slightly. I don't know, maths is difficult. Let's go shopping. So over here, yeah, we've got the sulphur dribbling out at a not particularly great rate. 2,100 now. Um, but at least it's going to be coming out as quickly as it is reasonably possible. Are there other places to get sulphur from? That's another question. Yes, hydrogen sulphur, I guess. Okay, so I can turn coal. Interesting. I'd have benzene left over. I don't know what I'd do with that. Those, okay. That's what I'm using at the moment. Um, that doesn't look so... No, that doesn't look like it. Look like it's worthwhile. Okay, I've got my gas supply up and happy now. So you know what that means, I think. I believe that means it's now time to stop prevaricating and actually go and have a look at this iron system over here that I will have been saying I'm going to set up and get going for rather a long time. So we've got Jeevalite. We haven't got Stereotype. Uh, no, Sapphirite, that one, because I haven't put it on the bus system, uh, on the uh, LTN system yet, but I could do. Uh, what's this? This is going to be Sapphirite ore, and I want that to say minus 20,000. And then it goes, oh, I can't find any Sapphirite ore. But if I go just down here, I could turn this one into an LTN station. No harm in that, right? Well, there is obvious harm in that because I don't have any LTN stations. Um, and I've left my construction vehicle miles away again as usual. Let's put that there. Let's see if I can find an LTN station that I can paste. That's a trip. Yep, that's a loading station. It's all a bit weird up the top, but never mind. It'll it'll do for getting the wiring in, which is what I want it for. And those in there. Oh I don't need to do anything else because it's a loading station. But I do need to give it a better name. It's presumably Sapphire pick up four then. And it should be blue. There we go. 
And as you can see here, one of my um, LTN trains has immediately gone, hey, there's some Sapphirite available and there's somebody asking for Sapphirite. Let's go and have a look at that. On the, However, on the less, like, less positive side, because I haven't made all of my junctions two-way, it's going to take a very, very long way around to get out of here. It's going to come up this one. I need it to turn. I need it to be able to turn right out of here. I'm not going to fit this in with the um, belt there, am I? Three or the, that, whatever that is. Signal. There we go. There. Wow, that coal's going down quickly. Where am I using so much coal? It must be the. No, not that one. Okay, it's not being used that quickly, but it is being used steadily. And that's pulling quite a lot through, is it? No. Oh, it's all these boilers here. Okay, I'm making so much steam, it's pulling that through at quite a rate. How's the... While I think of it, how's the general coal supply doing? Wow. Okay, that's that's getting to the point where I might not need... Try and talk again. This is getting to the point where I'm going to need to start thinking about doing it differently, I think. Perhaps pulling another... Ooh, why is that low? Okay, because that hasn't quite got to minus eight yet. But still, there's unloading happening from both trains worth. It's... Oh, it's because of the way I've put these um, put these splitters together very lazily. The, uh, the, the middle two get significantly more coal pulled from them than the outer ones do because I'm lazy and couldn't be bothered to set up a proper uh, splitter system here. A filter, no, uh, no, what's the word I'm looking for? Balancer. Couldn't be bothered to set up a proper balancer here, so the middle one's getting used up a lot faster. But there's, this is still at minus seven, so when that gets to minus eight, it should summon an, automatically summon an LTN train with an appropriate amount of coal and still have about 12,000 available for continued use. So it should be all right. Maybe I should have made that a bigger negative number. I don't know. I sort of want to watch this and see it and watch it trigger and set a, set a new LTN train going just so I know that it's working. Because if coal runs out, I'm going to be very sad. We saw in an earlier episode how much of a problem it is to get that up and running again. And I know there's that warehouse full of it, so we're not actually going to run out for a very long time, but I still want to make sure it's working properly. There we go, it says minus eight now. That should have triggered. Is that LTN? It is. Ah, there, now that's a gas, a gas train. Hmm. I don't know why that hasn't triggered. What do these ones say? Because these, this one we... Okay, now it's sapphirite that's being, being done. This one says eight, and that's got... Yeah, okay, and that worked. Sapphirite says eight, and it's got minus 20. Um, <laughs> because I haven't linked these up, so that's just going to keep pulling it through forever. But that's on minus 20 and it triggered it. Do you ever get the feeling you're trying to use something that you don't understand well? That's the gas train again. Sapphirite reloaded. I don't know. Let's leave that for a bit and see what happens, but I'm a little concerned about that. I'm going to come over here and link these um, to that like that, so maybe it'll stop summoning trains when it shouldn't. Because now no, it still says minus 20. Oh no, that says minus 20, that says 4. Okay, minus 4, that's alright. I can't change these from here without going up there, so I hope it's going to work. Oh well, we'll find out. Okay, so up here we've got how much how much unloading power have we got here? We've got four yellow belts, absolute maximum coming out. So if down here, if we have two yellow belts coming out of each of these, that should be the same amount of iron available. So if I put... One belt like this, and one like this, and then the same here. And then I go and get the construction machine, which I should have done ages ago, because that's got all of my stuff in it. Oh, it's doing more building. <laughs> I don't need those rails yet. Ah, I'll, with it. I can, I'll drive off and, they can, and the bots can catch me up later. I'm not going to be far away, and I'm going to be there for a long time. I say not far away, it is actually quite a long one. Never mind. 2,600. <laughs> Still not many, yet, not much sulfur. But it sort of doesn't... I don't think it matters yet. Um, where is it? Over here. Yeah, there's still plenty of sulphur on the bus. It's just only on one side of the bus. <laughs> okay, so the first step... Let's have a look at my notes. The first step is to crush the sapphirite and the jeevalite. Well, we'll start off with the sapphirite. Have I brought some crushers with? Yes, excellent. I'm not quite sure how many you need to deal with a complete yellow belt of, of ore. So let's start off with that. I'm also going to put in a balancer uh, that because I want to make sure I use up the two warehouses at the same rate. I think I want two inserters and two exerters on each of these, like that. Put in a power there, I suppose. I'll need it on the other side as well. Do you know what I should be doing? Let's have a look at how long it takes to do these things. It takes one second times half. It takes half a second to, cr to crush two sapphirites or into two crushed sapphirites there. Um, and then it takes... Am I going to do this? Uh, oh no, I need to mix them at this point. No, that's... What if... Ooh, this... That'd be quite elegant. What if I had these alternate between whether they're doing sapphirite or jeevalite, 
and then feeding directly straight into the next machine. And that's going to take twice as long. Okay, so I need to actually I need to feed, feed two machines from each one, so that's not going to be quite so easy. Or I could just accept that the crushers aren't running flat out, but I still need a way to remove the crushed stone. And since that's taking two into three, I'm going to need a faster belt for pulling it out as well. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll produce these separately because anything else will be a bit too complicated. I want crushed stone to go this way and I'll dispose of that with another train at some point. So that's going to be something else to build. Building is something I can do. This will be then be crushed sapphirite, which I'll need to eventually potentially mix with the crushed jeevalite, but I think that's going to be a, I was going to do that as a later step, I think. So is it what's the step to turn this into iron ore? Crushed sapphirite. I could do that one, but then that produces a load of copper ore and a load of slag as well. Or ideally I do this one because it has the less Yeah, okay, let's go I might just have to go straight for this one, I guess, and get the um, mineral catalysts in here as well. <laughs> here come those bots that I uh, abandoned earlier. Okay, let's do the Jeeva light as well then. Oh, heck, where's that? That's down there. Right, okay. To the rescue. Uh, do I have laser turrets? Plasma turrets? No. Do you have plasma turrets? Yes. Car, coal, 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 coal? I need some fuel. There's some fuel. Do I have normal? I don't have turrets to replace them with. Uh, let's go back and get some snipers, guns. Fortunately, my defences seem to usually be good enough that if something like this happens, the turrets can, admittedly at great cost to themselves, drive the enemy off. They just end up oh, getting completely hammered in the process. Uh, where should I be? I came in there, so let's have a bit of overlap on that sort of area. Yeah, like that'll do. Didn't bring any wall with me. How did I not bring any wall? Or stone bricks. Right. Um, I'm just going to have a gap here then, I guess. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder why the attack happened there when there's generally some... Oh, maybe that was a that was a base I got rid of, I think, and I just never picked up the spoils from. Okay. Okay, after that rather rude interruption. Where was I? So I want to copy that for unloading. I want to copy that crushing. Um, yeah, let's just put it there. I'll leave room for a second one there. I should also feed this upwards. Let's see. Ah. Okay, let's get rid of this wood. Just gonna be completely in the way. <laughs> so this is a, these are a placeholder for the um, for the second row of crushers. Should I need to put them in at some right? So step three is to take the crushed sapphirite and crushed jujivalite, mix them together with a catalyst, and make iron ore out of them. And that's done in a sorting facility. Okay, and I need to have about <laughs> apparently I need to have about twice as many of those as I do the other things because they the Mark II is only run at speed one and it's a one second job whereas here the crushers have a one second job and it takes uh, but it's mark two is run at double speed or half yeah crafting speed two so it takes half a second to do this one and that makes two crushed sapphirite these take the two crushed sapphirite and take a second to produce four iron on, but but only but only yeah yeah single speed so yeah i need i need to somehow fit in twice as many i say somehow fit in it's not like i'm short of space oh actually it's not so bad there is plenty there is going no actually it is i'm not going to say so bad but it's going to be a little bit of a challenge because whilst I can go down here as well, getting the belt speeds right is going to be a tricky. Now, what's the best way to do this? What I should do here, I should get one belt. Right, what I should do, this is going to either be elegant or hideous. I should put splitters on these and then have this one and this one feed into that. And then this one and this one feed into this one. Right, so that's going to give me two mixed belts of sapphirite and jeevalite. Which I can then pull up here like this. I've got eight of those, so I need to have eight going up and eight coming down, but those things are bigger. So let's have four on each side of the belt. <laughs> okay, they're a lot bigger. Start from the top. These are crazy big. So we then have this belt coming up here. We also need another one that's carrying the catalysts. So then the next one of these will go here, and ideally we'd have four of those as well, but I've run out. Let's give it two and a long one. The other side, two long ones and a short one. So that's going to be doing the, who oh, just knows, ah, oh, the four times iron ore one, that one, cool. And that just produces iron ore, so that's easy to unload. Don't know, <laughs> that's too far to reach, that's crazy. Okay. Oh, I didn't put the apple belts in, for hell. Uh, never mind, that's not too difficult. Right, um, so that's dealing with the first one of these belts. Second, then we need all of that again, but the other way up. Put that in. Ah, uh, put it in the wrong place. It doesn't line up. That's bothering me. I mean, it was almost right. It just needs to go there. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Oh, I didn't rotate it. 
Oh, okay, you can each have a big power pole in your area to wire everything up. Okay, now I need to go and get more um, stuff. Uh, what's it on? Are you guys doing? Oh, trees. I need to go and get more crushers, more sorters, more yellow belts, probably more power poles, more plasma turrets, just in case I get jumped again. Okay, so that's got me iron. That'll be iron ore coming out of there. Next thing to do then is to turn it into processed iron. That's going to be another big job. I wonder what that happens where that's done. All processing machines. Lovely. Oh, I didn't get the plasma turrets. Yeah. That's my pipe supply. Very low on pipes, but okay on underground pipes. There we go. Oh, bots. Okay. Here we go. Crushers and sorters. Ten might be enough. I'm not quite sure. Okay, so what was the next thing I needed? I said I need processing machines, all processing machines, pellet presses and blast furnaces. I think I want to start building those here as well. Okay, that's manageable. That's also manageable. So I want to have... Where are my machines? Here they are. One here. Uh, that's going to make steel gears. It's going to make... Let's do these as I go along and make sure it's right. Um, stone bricks come above. Okay. Yay, a lovely mix of two different types of belt. And we have one of these. Long-handled, styly, like that. I think... That should do. Good. And then this unloads to a box, as always. Let's unload up. I don't want too many of them. <laughs> okay, that's that one. And that's a Mark II, so that's 1.33. So, okay, so here I'm making four of these every second. And here I'm using four of these every two seconds. So I need twice as many of these as the previous thing. And that was already 16, I think. So I need 30, 32. Jeez. Okay. Uh, it's going to make processed iron... No, don't do that, do that. Process iron at whatever my rate is. Oh, it's 32 divided by... Oh, for goodness sake, I have no idea. <laughs> Let's just put in, like, 20 of them and see how that goes. Um, then we have pellet presses, of which there only is a Mark One. Okay. Steel gears, clay bricks, steel plate, no problem. I could just do that here and put an underneath in here. No, this. Make pellet presses. Yeah, that's everything. Right. Next thing is blast furnaces. I don't think I ever started making those um, automatically, even though I sort of needed them. Blast furnace, mark one, can I close my line? Iron pipes, okay. Uh, that's not too bad. <laughs> Ooh, I'm running very low on belts. I haven't left anywhere for this to unload too completely conveniently. Um, okay, good, all of those seem to be working. Blast furnaces, then the ingots. Turn back into modern iron in 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 induction furnace. Or then perhaps a strand casting machine, but I probably won't use that yet, so induction furnace is the next one. Nothing too challenging there. I can't remember what I actually need, so I'm just gonna put everything everything in there. One thing I haven't got is steel bricks, of course. Uh steel cogs. So it doesn't need the top one. Doesn't need that one for the bricks, needs that one for the steel, needs that one for the circuits, and obviously needs that one for the pipes. Okay, I'm going to leave strand casting alone for now because that's the um, that's one of the big expansions for just when I want to transport stuff around a bit more densely. Uh, and I th yeah, I don't think I need it at the moment. But yeah, I think I should, can now leave these to run for a few moments and then come back for the for the spoils, as it were. Is there anything else? Oh, let's have another look at the coal while we're waiting for that because that's a yeah, that's all gone now. Okay, why is this not working? What have I done wrong? I thought I copied and pasted all of these. Yeah, that's the same. Okay. Um, That's connected to the station, not the lamp. That's where I've gone wrong. Oh, goodness sake, LTN. At least I think it is. Let's go and see if I can fix that while, while that's running. I don't know if you're supposed to connect things to the station for anything at all in this, but there we go. <laughs> now it works, in theory. Why is this broken? Have I left a... I've not got signal down there. <laughs> Signals are finicky little creatures. I should be putting a lot more signals along these long straights as well, to be honest. That'll be an off-camera thing, though, I think, because it's not going to be remotely exciting. Yes, that's missing a signal there, and a signal there. No, there. Now all my trains can go where they feel they need to. So that one stopped there, because there aren't any signals all the way along here. So until that's got past there, this train can't start moving, which is a bit... And at the moment, it doesn't really matter, and it hasn't mattered up until now, because the whole area is so big and there's so few trains 
that generally just signalling the points has been sufficient. But as I start to use the trains more and more, I am going to need to go back in and tidy things up a bit, make them work a bit better. So here we go, loads up coal. In fact, this coal mine's starting to run out. That's um, something to consider, worry about and try and find a new one somewhere. Shouldn't be difficult. I'm actually slightly surprised I haven't discovered, in inverted commas, haven't, haven't claimed another coal mine yet. Uh, there's a couple out here, seven million there. There's three million still left in it, actually. Six million, nine million. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, I should probably try and claim that one because it also gets me these massive sapphire patches as well. Okay, there's a big lot of biters there, but my biter extermination skills have got or have got significantly better recently. What with uh, starting to start, starting to use the plasma turrets, so I'm not too worried about taking them on. Oh, type there. Okay, these are all finished. Excellent. Let's take all those machines and that car. Apparently, I can't pick the car. I'm full. Didn't mean to get rid of all of that. Let's take one. Let's get some more of those. There was something else I was running out of. I'm probably low on yellow belts again because I've been using huge amounts of that. Red inserters, maybe. I've used a lot of them. I think I could do with some more of them anyway. And I've got lots of red inserters. I'm very short of yellow belts. Lots of grey belts. Let's ditch some of those into the yellow belt making machines as well to get rid of them upgraded. Don't need red inserters. Let's get some more stack inserters. <laughs> Boob coal. Let's park this up here, I think. Let's go and debug that lack of power here. So what's going on here? There's the power for those as there should be. There should be then one of these in that. I think that's right. Okay, that's an enormous quantity of um, sorters. I haven't got these catalysts yet. That's going to be the next challenge, I think. Um, but let's carry on anyway and build the next step of the process. So from the iron ore, I make processed iron in an ore processing machine. I've got 16 sorters, which will be making four times 16 a second. 64 a second, it needs so 16 to turn into two, one point three. So I need the same, oh, hang on, it's one, so I need twice as many, but I need 1.3 times as many. Oh, uh, no, divided by 1.3, so 32. To, I'm going to try and call it 20, I think. At least partly because that's how many I've got. No, it isn't. I've got more than that. Okay, at least these are nice and small. Um, I want to make processed iron, and that simply takes the iron in and outputs that. That's an, that's a really easy recipe. Let's make stacks of 10. There we go. Those are better not link onto that belt. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. That's a surprisingly easy step. I'm kind of paranoid. This seems to be easier than it should be. <laughs> Clearly, I've been hurt by angel bobs in the past. Pellet press. Got the marked. I don't know which pellet press I've got. That takes that makes two every two seconds at 1.3. That takes in three every two seconds at 1.3. So I need two thirds as many. So 20 would mean about 14 if they're twos. They're marked ones. Let's have the same number again. Pellet press. Right, this is where I need limestone and coke, so this gets a bit more complicated. And also blast furnaces. And eight iron pellets, and I'm making four every two seconds, so two per second, and I'm using eight every four seconds, so at the same rate. Okay, so I need the same number of blast furnaces, and blast furnaces are huge, I think. Blah, 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 blast furnaces. They're not huge, but they are quite big. Alright, let's do that over here, because then I can run up the middle with two belts, because there's so many different inputs. One, three. Um, it's getting a bit tight. I'm going to bring the outputs around the top. Oh, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is going to be a liquid, isn't it? No, this is going to make ingots. Okay, so this isn't, this isn't a liquid. This is a solid. Right. But an enormous quantity of them. Jeez. Um, hmm. Uh, yikes. That should probably be direct insertion then. Four seconds to produce. 24, four seconds to produce, oh, 12, take up 12. So I need to feed one of these into two induction furnaces into, I don't know, numbers, too many numbers. How big is an induction furnace? Slightly smaller. Um, I think I'll call this in progress. I mean, what I've done so far, I think is probably, is right, reasonably. Um, and I think I've got the ratio, I think I've probably got the ratios about right, I don't know. We'll find we'll find out when we kick it all off and see what happens. But at the moment, I think it's probably okay. But this thing here, I think I'm gonna need to have a bit more of a think about this. And I have been playing for an hour and a half. And I've got to do dinner and then and then get ready for a um, Halloween party. So, <laughs> so I think this is going to be a bit of a, oops, I'm going to go off and do something else now. Um, and have a bit of a think, and I'll have a bit, of a bit more of a think about this. Do some of the numbers, make some more notes, scribble lots of numbers down and try and see if I've got this right. 
you never know, I might have got it right so far. I've been doing it a bit off the top of my head and I'll I'll try and do it a bit more carefully. Um, but in general, this seems to be going... I think this is going okay so far. There's a couple of things left. Um, one is the the uh, catalysts I'm going to need for this sorting process. Uh, so I need, I'm going to need to work on turning thermal water into those. So I'm going to need to build a thermal water mine before I can even get this working at all. Um, then I'm going to need to decide what to do about this, this stage up here where I'm turning it into ingots and then into molten and then casting it and so on and so on in order to try and get something about right. Because if these are spitting out 24 for every eight that come in, I'm worried I'm going to completely overwhelm this belt because it's just going to be it's going to be too much. So I'd like to do direct insertion, which might mean spreading things out a little bit more, um, as if this system isn't big enough already. Um, but I don't see that as being really being a problem. I think I can probably manage something sensible here. It looks reasonably organised so far, so I think things are going okay. I might just need to expand further down later when I want to build when I want to double the uh, the throughput and, and bring in some, bring some more crushers online. Okay, so I think my brain is full. So what? So yes, yeah, so I'm going to call it an episode there. Have a bit more of a think about the numbers and so on. But for, so for now, thank you for watching. I hope this has been an interesting episode. I've I've done a few more extra things in this one. I've um I've, I've started building this iron process and I've messed around with LTN and or and and gas refining as well. It's been quite a lot of recording time, but I think I've also spent quite a lot of time not actually talking. So hopefully it'll be a normal length episode. Um. Although if I carry on talking like this about what I've been doing, it won't be. So I'll just stop here. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.